Good afternoon and welcome to Motivation Speaks with Angel Ferguson. We thank you for joining us on this Saturday, August the 26, 2017. We play we are playing uh, the sounds of CC Winings CD Throne Room. We pray that in some way you have been inspired and you are out today enjoying just the sceneries of God. He is an awesome God and he is worthy to be praised. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to connect with us, please connect with us via Facebook, Google+, Twitter, as well as iTunes, iHeartRadio's station and link. We would love to correspond with you. Our email address is angel at angelfergusonswordprocessing.com. Our mailing address is 7402 North 56th Street, Suite A and B, Tampa, Florida, 33617. We thank you once again for joining Motivation Speaks with Angel Ferguson. If you are listening to us via iHeartRadio, you can find us under the balance of life that is what we seek after we are seeking after balance but we have learned to seek after it through the love of Jesus Christ and if you are looking for a church home or a place to visit I would love for you to visit with me at True Life Community Worship Center in Tampa Florida the pastors are Senior Pastor Calvin Green and Angela Green. Our morning Sunday school begins at 9 a.m. Morning worship, 10.30 a.m. And on Wednesdays, we have Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. The address is 7402 North 56th Street, Suite 600. That's Tampa, Florida, 33617. Today's topic, we are doing a recap from this full week of, of just what we have learned and, and what we have shared, some things that God has enlightened us to, uh, some things that He has brought to our attention and, and we are still learning. I believe that when God gives us a revelation on a word that we should continue to meditate on it so that he can give us more and more understanding as he said in all thy ways get an understanding and we should also acknowledge him this week we've been talking about what happens when we move too fast moving too fast is a result of our lack of faith or even doubt the doubt is not in the words but in the one that gave the word. But I have come by today to remind you that the words spoken by God and God are in fact one. For in John 1 and 1 through 3, we can believe that the words of God will manifest itself just as Jesus was manifested as the, as the son of the living God. Become rest assured that the things that God has spoken unto you through the anointing of the Holy Spirit shall come to pass. If you have just tuned in, you have tuned in with Motivation Speaks with Angel Ferguson. We thank you for joining us today. We are doing a recap 
of this week's lessons. We explored what happens when we move too fast. Yesterday we talked about whose vision is it anyway. Uh, just going over some things. Why didn't you follow the vision that God gave to you? And, and why, did, why did someone feel they could come along and steal it away? The truth of the matter is, is when we do not follow the directions God has given us, when he gives us a vision, it causes a delay in deliverance. But one thing I do know that God's word will not return unto him void. And when we find that we will not do according to his word, he will prepare another vessel to do so. And I, for one, do not want any delays on my hand. So I have learned to sit still, be quiet, and follow his directions. I understand that it's not about me. It has nothing to do with what I'm going through. Because what I'm going through is actually meant for someone else. And we're going to talk about that as well. Your circumstances... God gave a vision to bring you out of those circumstances, but it's really for someone else, and it might seem a little complex, And but we overcome by the words of our testimony, and we go through things to build our character for faith, and it is really for the edification of God so that he can be seen strong and mighty. See, there are some things, I don't care what it is, what you try to do or, or what you try to devise, you can't deliver yourself. We might try to put a patch or a band-aid on it, but that patch or band-aid is only for a moment. For true deliverance, it must be done by the power of God. So we thank you today for joining us. We are excited for this avenue that God has given us. For we know that it was not by our own accord, but it was by his will. And I am humbled that he allowed it to happen the way that it did. And I am glad to walk in his will. Um, it's a part of my purpose. It's a part of my destiny, and I know that it has nothing to do with me. Um, it is a platform that I can use for someone else. So we thank you for joining us. If you are in need of custom designs and logos, please contact No Mercy HM Exclusives for a quote on your designs and logos for your business, organizations, or personal usage. Contact James at jamesnomercyhmx.com. Check out Style by Miss Lavette. For sew-ins, quick weaves, relaxers, and more, call for an appointment, 813-863-3270. Looking for time to relax this weekend, but you just can't get out or even in the office? Contact Simply J Pace for her mobile tech services. She provides pedicures and manicures, facials, and eyebrow uh, technique. Give her a call today. It's so relaxing to have someone come to you so that you are not in the chaos of everyone else trying to relax. Her phone number is 813-233-6429. Today's show is all about a recap from the week. What happens when we move too fast? Asking the question, whose vision is it anyway? Learning to focus from focusing on the circumstances to focusing through the circumstances and with spiritual maturity, focusing beyond the circumstances. And that is where we would all like to get.
when we explore over in Habeka, as we talked about earlier in the week, three very important things that we need to know and to apply to our lives. When we are growing into spiritual maturity and really learning how to trust in the promises of God, the Holy Spirit will teach us how to go from focusing on our circumstances to focusing through our circumstances to focusing beyond our circumstances. As we are reminded in the second chapter and the third verse of Habakkuk, that the vision is for an appointed time. Our circumstances are in fact for an appointed time. The more we can grasp hold of the reality of Isaiah 55 and 8, that our time is not God's time, neither are our thoughts his thoughts. How he has reminded us throughout his word that his word will not return unto him as void, but it will accomplish that what it is set out to do. Keep in mind, the vision, the plans that God has for you is for an appointed time. And while we wait for that time, while we are waiting, there is some learning that we need to do. There is some growth that we need to do. We need to become equipped so that we can handle that appointed time and how many of you know that that time is is a stretch it's a it's a time of you have to stay before God and and you have to remind God of his word um, it is a time that we must pray and meditate on the word of God and, and not look at what's going on around us because during that time that he is preparing us it is, it is a time of praise. It is a time to stay before him for so many reasons. God would not have us unequipped while he is preparing us for our next. What you are hearing in the background is C.C. Winings the throne room and it's a song how great thou art that is a remembrance for us today how great thou art for there is none higher in the earth than our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we'd like to thank you once again for joining us on this Saturday, August the 26, 2017. It's a beautiful day outside and I do know that there is so much going on today. And if you do not have anything to do, tonight we are having a youth explosion at True Life Community Worship Center starting at six o'clock it is lights camera action it is something for the youth youth department will will have praise and worship singing spiritual dance and if you aren't busy at six o'clock this evening we would love to have you come out and join us it's true life community worship center pastors calvin and angela green the address is 7402 North 56th Street, Suite 600, Tampa, Florida, 33617. That's True Life Community Worship Center, and we would love to have you in the building tonight. And of course, come and visit with me in the morning. Sunday school starts at 9 a.m. Morning worship is at 1030. Taking a look back at our subject, we are doing a recap from the week and there's just so much to learn and, and to understand and to get in our spirits. It is the only way that we can go 
grow unto spiritual maturity that we have to get the word of God in our spirits and we have to rely on that we have to look to that rather than what is going on in the natural we have to learn how to take our eyes off of things in the natural and keep our focus on God and one thing about Habakkuk in Habakkuk he teaches us to look to the vision that this might be going on but God has a plan he has a plan to deliver us and to, to pull us out but we have to look at the visions of the plan he has directions in that vision he has some outlines in that vision he has some instructions that says this I'm going to do this if you do that if you be that willing humble vessel and if you would minister my word if you would show my love if you will rebuke when I tell you to rebuke if you will build when I tell you to build if you will remind people of my commandments commandments and that they need to live under my commandments my covenant remember my word my covenant that I had with you if you do those things if you humble yourself if you seek ye first the kingdom of God the things in that vision shall come to pass that's even for the things in our personal lives God will give a vision for a whole that is for the people and he will give a vision for the individual but keep in mind that word that message that vision is really for a larger branch we oftentimes look at it as this is something that God wants me to do but he has such a bigger plan for our lives and and to be honest with you it's not for the ones that are immediately around us it's for someone so far away that we won't even get to meet face to face but God will somehow some way send that word and you're that vessel but are you willing to wait and not move so fast wait on the Lord those things that he gave you to pull you out of where you're from it shall come to pass but we have to go through and I do know that we as a people we don't want to go through we don't want to suffer we don't want to have bad days or we don't want our backs up against the wall we want it easy but did Jesus have it easy he had to suffer and he is the son of the living God we too have to be made unto perfection we have to go through some things and only only way you're gonna become unto spiritual maturity you have to experience some things you I can't tell you what it's like to not have not be in a position financially able to do things that I want to do but to wait on God if I've never experienced it if I've always had it but God will make other ways for you to give stop looking at you just don't have money to give you give unto God your time your words of encouragement and make sure it has no hidden agenda everything that you do do it unto the will of God that is how you give stop focusing on money God owns everything there's a song that I absolutely love what shall I render unto thee what God does not look at the material things that we have but he looks upon our heart God inhabits the praises of his people so what shall I give and I and I I'm going this way because this is where we need to be while we wait on the vision to come to pass what shall I render unto thee your waiting is not a time for grumbling and to to mumble and to lay down and cry and mope and have a pity party because you'll be there all by yourself 
but it is a time to render unto God your praise, your worship, your heart. Draw closer to him while you wait for the vision to come to pass. We're listening to You're So Holy by C.C. Winings off of the CD, Throne Room. I want to take a look at just the Word of God where it says, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. And that's in Hebrews 13 and 5. Just a reminder. For God said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And while we are all going through different things, I want to remind you that he will never leave you nor forsake you. God will be with you even when you are going through. It may seem as if you are all alone, but he is there with you. We must keep in mind that our circumstances are due to be as a testimony for others. We are just the vessels, as we said earlier, that God has decided to use to show forth his ultimate power, his love, and his grace. By the words of our testimonies, we are furthering the kingdom of God, which is the purpose of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he hath said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And again in Deuteronomy 31 and 8, And the Lord said, He is that doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. He said, Fear not neither be dismayed, meaning don't be troubled. These words that we share are meant to encourage you and to build you in times of uncertainty, just as we will remind the people in our lives of their words, remind God of his. It's okay to remind God of his word. We also learn that when we put our trust in man, we would rather put our trust in someone who has disappointed us rather than the one who created us. And in all honesty, those words that you've lost hope in, where they did not happen when you wanted them to happen, you aren't, in fact, just rejecting those words or giving up on those words. You're giving up on God. But surely if it came from God, so you have to try the Spirit by the Spirit. And, and, and when someone comes to us with a word, it should be a manifestation that God has already given you. Pray about it. Weigh it. Because as those words come and they are coming from God, understand that the word and God are one. So be very, very careful when you reject that vision. 
when you reject those words, those things that God said he's going to do in our lives. Be very careful about rejecting those things. We're going to take just a brief moment. And when we come back, we're going to go to John 1, 1 through 3. Because, of course, the word says to rightly divide the word of truth and to study to show thyself approved and I want to read to you where in fact the word the words that come from God the word of God and God are indeed one and I want you to think about this as we go on our break we keep trusting those who fail us but we will not trust the one that allows the sun to rise and the moon to set and for the wind to blow and all the years of your life that has not failed to happen but we won't trust the one that can make it happen we will trust the one that gave us their word yet failed and we'll keep giving them opportunities to fail but we will not give God the opportunity to allow his words to manifest in our lives. So we're going to take just a brief break right here and think about that. And when we come back, we will come back and talk about John 1, 1 through 3. If you are in the need of services for your home or residential areas, your businesses, and you need cleaning services, contact Angelina Green for a quote from Fran and Ann's Cleaning Services, located here in the Tampa Bay area. Her phone number is 813-410-7922. Are you looking for tree trimming services for your home? Contact Artie's Tree Service Incorporated today for a free estimate. He is licensed and insured. He also provides police, veteran, and military discounts. Services are tree trimming, demossing, tree removal, and cleaning of your gutters. Contact Artie's Tree Service Incorporated today Phone number is 813-526-8701. As we are returning to our recap of the week, what happens when we move too fast? Whose vision is it anyway? Learning to focus from, from the circumstances, through the circumstances, and beyond the circumstances. And today we are looking at the Word of God, having an understanding that the Word of God and God are one. So we must be very, very careful when we do not accept and move on those words. But I will encourage you to, to pray and when someone comes to you with the Word of God take it to God in prayer and and search and and stay there until he gives you an answer uh, don't move because someone else said this is what you ought to do but make sure it is God's will for you to do we are looking at John 1 1 through 3 in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. John begins his gospel by calling Jesus the Word. 
in using this designation for Christ, John presents him as the personal word of God and ind indicates that in these last days, God has spoken to us by his son. The scriptures declare that Jesus Christ is the manifold wisdom of God and the perfect revelation of the nature and person of God. Jesus, as a person's words, reveal his heart and mind. Christ, as the Word, reveals the heart and mind of God. John gives us three main characteristics of Jesus Christ as the Word. The first, the Word's re relation to the Father, the Word's relation to the world, and the Word's relation to humanity. So as we said, be very, very careful when God gives you a vision. Focus on that vision and don't reject it because you are rejecting God himself. But weigh it if you don't understand it. And, and things come to us and, and it might not be what you had a plan for your life for. But remember, God says, I know the plans that I have for you. See, we have our own plans and we have our own outlook of what we want to do with our lives. But once we submit unto God and follow his will for our lives, we have to fall under submission for his will for us, for his plans for us. Our plans could be far, far from what we're doing now. And that happens. But when we come into the knowledge of Christ, we must learn to say, God, I yield to your will. What is your will for my life? What would you have me to do? Know that his purpose and his will for you is for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. So no matter what area of work that you find yourself in, it is in somehow for the furtherance and for the kingdom of God. You are there in that position as a, as a defense and as a warrior of Christ to pray of where you are. Pray over those people. Pray for peace, pray for clarity, pray for understanding. You are there for a reason, not just to get a paycheck. If you keep in your mind that you are just there to get a paycheck, then that vision that God has given you to bring you out of the circumstances that you are in, it can't happen. And then you have this delay of deliverance. There are people waiting on you. As I said yesterday, that's not something I want on my hands. I'll say it today. I do not want a delay of anyone, of any soul on my hands. I'm learning to submit. I'm learning more and more. It's not about what Angel wants to do. It has nothing to do with what I thought I wanted to do with my life. When I got to a point where I accepted being just a writer, my idea was simply just to write books. And that is it. Not the other avenues that God has opened up for me. Not in the areas that I'm actually in. It was simply to write quotes and words of inspiration and that was it. But he has such a bigger plan for me and he has more plans for me. I just have to learn daily to stay in his will and move as he would have me to move. Yesterday we also talked about when someone, when we hand our visions off to someone else. God didn't give the vision to them. And then when it doesn't work out, guess what? That is still on your hand because he gave the vision to you. And for those who come along and snatch visions and run with them, God didn't give you that vision. And it's not going to work. You, you are in a delay of deliverance if you are in that position of doing that. God has a vision and a plan for you. Ask him what is for you. My path is not the next man's path. I can't walk the next person's walk. It's not going to work. 
I have learned to stay, as they say, in my lane. I cannot walk another man's walk and I don't try. I don't try to put my hand in it. I'm, I'm, I'm too busy trying to make sure that I am walking where he wants me to walk and that I have an understanding of where he would have me. And if I take my focus off of that, then I'm missing the mark and I'm missing the vision and my circumstances I can't come out of because I'm not focusing on the vision he has for me. We all have a path. And I just came by to tell you to make sure you are on your path. Seek God for the vision he has for your life. Ask God, what part in your kingdom do you want me to play? See, God, Jesus has a purpose. He has this vision to draw people in. Ask him, God, where, where's, where's my place? What part do you want me to do? Where's my participation? Be that willing vessel. Stop sitting by and letting everybody else do. Get in there. Let him lead and guide you. He wants you. He will not reject you. He will never fail you. Surely as you were able to wake up this morning and look back on your yesterdays, he has not failed you yet. I know he will never fail you. He's never failed me. It might not have been in my time, but he has not failed me yet. He has shown himself worthy even when I did not. We thank you for joining us today. Motivation Speaks with Angel Ferguson. If you would like to connect with us, please connect with us via Facebook, Google Plus, our YouTube channel, iHeart's radio station and network, as well as Twitter. If you would like to email us, our email address is angel at angelfergusonswordprocessing.com. Our mailing address is 7402 North 56th Street, Suite A and B, Tampa, Florida, 33617. Our phone number is 813-336-2181. Just a quick announcement, Beauty of a Woman Ministry Incorporated presents their second annual My Identity Crisis. The theme is tran the transformation process. Dates of this event, October 6th and 7th, located at the Holiday Inn Hotel, 700 Northwest Shore Boulevard, Tampa, Florida, 33609. This conference is for every child, 13 to adulthood, who have reached their senior years that have been wounded, hurt, abused, rejected, and abandoned. VIP tickets for this conference, which includes a concert, is $50. There is an early bird registration of $35, which ends September the 5th. Regular registration is $45. There are also vendor opportunities available. To register or donate, please visit www.bit.ly. Slash my identity crisis. For more questions, please contact Tanya at 813 380 9583. That's going to be a very, very awesome event. And there will also be a concert featuring Psalmstress Crystal A. Wilson on that Saturday, October the 7th at 6 p.m. The concert alone is $10, but if you get VIP, your concert ticket is included. Some inspirational words. Today, remember the goals you once dreamed of. Don't let it slip away. Wake up and make it happen. And as I tell anyone, only you can stop you. That goes back to the vision. 
only you can stop you. God has great plans for you. And I encourage you to, to find out what those plans are. And to dig deep into those plans. Learn about them. Learn about them. Grow with them. And I, I'm just, every time I think about something, it takes me back to Isaiah 55 at 10 and 11. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return it not thither, but watereth the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall, it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. It's not alone. God is just not sending the word. He said it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. It shall prosper, which means that that soul that he sent you to minister unto, it shall prosper. He says one plants, one waters, but he gives the increase. Keep planting those seeds of love, the love of Christ through your character. It's not about the words that we say but it's about our character. Are you living the words you say? Can I see your words through your actions? I don't know if you realize that or not, but that is part of the vision. A vision is meant to cultivate you, to equip you, to build your character. That's the purpose of a vision. It's not that, that God just want to show us a bunch of stuff. He's not dangling carrots before our eyes. And, and, and he's, there is no game. There is no trickery. He has a purpose for your life. And I implore you to find out what it is. And once you find out what it is, I want you to fall in love with it. Fall in love with your purpose. There's a reason why God chose you to do what you do, because no one else can do it the way, just the way you do it. Each one of us have souls assigned to us. All of us have assigned souls. People are watching us. They're watching our character. And they're saying, what makes her be at peace? What makes him speak the way that they do and are humble? I want to know what that is. And that's where the door is opened. We thank you today for joining us. We look forward to sharing with you on tomorrow. Motivation Speaks with Angel Ferguson airs seven days a week at 3 p.m. And even after we have gone off the air, you can connect with us via iHeartRadio, iTunes, our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Thank you. Have a blessed and awesome day. And as we always end our show, stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way. Have a blessed afternoon.